Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This tutorial is about plain stress strain problem analysis in Abacus and the specific problem is stress in a plate with hole. And that is a statement, a rectangular aluminum plate with a hole shown in figure is subjected to biaxial tensile load. So that is an aluminum plate, a hole. Length of plate is 140 millimeter then the width of that is 70 millimeter and a hole is in the center of plate and the diameter of hole is 20 millimeter and it is subjected to biaxial tensile load on this direction it is 50 megapascal and on the other one it is again 50 megapascal so this plate has two lines of symmetry so that is symmetric about the center uh, about the center in horizontal direction and symmetry line of symmetry about the center in vertical direction so that two plane of symmetry and then the loads because being applied on the both sides so there are two uh, it is two planes of symmetry for geometry and loading the plate has elastic modulus of 70 gigapascal and a Poisson's ratio of 0.3 the plate is 5 meter thick and subjected to a uniform pressure on both sides of 50 megapascal that one so this plate has two lines of symmetry it can be is symmetric about this line as shown in that green section of half of it and then it is along that line which is shown in blue and then based on that lines of symmetry so it this is a quarter plate so this problem can be solved as a full plate, half plate, then the second half in along when uh, we are going to cut it along the axis of symmetry or line of symmetry along x axis and y axis and then a quarter plate. So plot one, one much stresses along the axis of symmetry of the plate and on the edge of hole. So here is the axis of symmetry. So you need to plot one much stresses there and then one my stress is there and then along that edge of the hole considering full plate half plate along each axis of symmetry and quarter plate along both axis of symmetry and then the second one is compare stress along axis of symmetry using full plate half plate and quarter plate so that is the problem statement or problem description i am going to uh, model this in Abacus and all analysis performed in Abacus and I'm using that Abacus 2020 and here are the steps for there are three steps first one is modeling then is analysis and then results so before modeling it is important to check the units because there are no default unit in Abacus so you need to set your own units so, uh, for solid modeling, you can use Newton meter Pascal, pound inch, and pound per square inch, or Newton millimeter, mega Pascal, or Newton per millimeter. So, I am using this set three because most of dimensions are in millimeters, and load is in mega Pascal, and modulus of elasticity in giga Pascal. So, then need to convert into mega Pascal. Okay, so. So these are the units, like all dimensions in millimeters, load in megapascal and modulus of elasticity need to convert from gigapascal to megapascal. So then another one, uh, it's important to set a work directory or choose a folder where you want to save all of your data. So I'm going to save that in this folder chapter nine. So just copy link from there and in a backus, file set work directory so okay so now that work directory is being set so once you have done all that the first step now in modeling is part so you need to create part and in that case it is 2d deformable shell so here first i'm going to save that model rename it as full plate full plate and then 
I'm going to create a part. So this is a part uh, from module or here I can double click on that part. So 2D deformable shell and approximate size of that because the maximum length is 140. So I am going to use like uh, almost double of that, let's say 300 or you can go for 200 as well. Okay, so continue. And then here are different options. Uh, using connected lines or a rectangle. So here I am going to use that symmetric rectangle and I need to uh, give the vertices of that and then like one vertex is because the total length is uh, 140 so that vertex is 70 and 35 and it will go to the other one which is 70 and 35. Okay, so that rectangle is drawn, and the next one a hole need to be drawn with the right in the center of that uh, rectangle with diameter as 10. So that is the center of hole, and then that is the diameter uh, radius 20, and then diameter as 100. So dimensions can be checked so overall length is 140 height here 70 and that's the diameter as 10 so done done and then this part has been created now next one uh, next is in the part module create partition and faces to plot stress along the axis of symmetry and then uh, the second reason is to get better meshing and for that one once a part has been created so then here are here is a partition edge so these are the partition uh, tools or you can go in the tools and then partition and i'm going to partition face and the shortest distance between two so i am going to create a partition along horizontal direction and then again it says that select the faces to partition i am going to select both of these parts then here i am so that is the partition is being created so that partition is being created along line of symmetry here and line of symmetry so along both lines next step is to create material mechanical elastic with 70 gigapascal as modulus of elasticity and python ratio 0.33 so for that one in the property module that the first one is create material or here next to the part is material okay so material i'm leaving that and elasticity and then elastic material okay modulus of elasticity is 70 70000 megapascal and python ratio is 0.33 so then the material is being created here so you can rename that material by clicking here to so rename that whatever you want so next part is to uh, next step is to in property module create section and that is a solid homogeneous and the thickness is five millimeter and then the next step is assign section so for that one here you have create section or here is the section so I'm just naming it section one solid homogeneous and then the material is material one and plain stress strain thickness that is five millimeter okay so now you can see that 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 section has been created there and then assign section so for assign section there is one option of assign section or you can go into the part and then section assignment you can go there's no need of creating set so select that one done and then that is the section created and you turn to green next step is in the mesh module seed edges and for that one on few edges we need to keep that fine mesh and on few edges we need to create coarse mesh and then between coarse mesh and fine mesh we need to use single bias so the minimum element size i'm keeping it as one millimeter where uh, on the region where the stress concentration and where there is the less stress concentration 5 millimeter so for that one 
uh, in property uh, here in the mesh module the first one is that c that is and it says select the region to be assigned local seed so what i'm going to do for that circle because there's a more stress concentration here element size i'm keeping at one millimeter and on these edges outer edges i'm going to keep that as five millimeter so for that one these two edges with by pressing shift and with uh, mouse you can select all these outer edges so you can see that all outer edges are selected so done and for that one uh, by size no bias no bias and then five millimeter applied okay and for now along that circle uh, hole i'm going to select all those edges of the hole okay by, by clicking shift button so done and for that one one millimeter so apply and okay so now for these inner edges along the line of symmetry so here on the hole it is one millimeter and outside is five millimeter so for these ones i need to create single bias so done and here you have single bias and the minimum is one and the maximum is five and the direction is like from minimum to maximum okay so apply apply okay and then done so now that seed has been created there next for this one and the direction is upward so apply okay and similarly i'm going to do for other two edges so you need to make sure that the direction of arrow is from uh, from maximum uh, uh, size to minimum size okay and similarly here from maximum to minimum here the max maximum size to minimum size and then here maximum to minimum size so now c part is done so next step in the mesh module is assign mesh control and for that one element type uh, need to select is quad and structure quadratic and uh, quadrilateral and structure and then mesh part then assign element type and because it is uh, we are going to, to use that stress so it is then uh, cps4r so for that purpose then now the next step is here assign mesh control assign mesh control select that done and the by default is quadratic dominated so i'm going for quadratic and structured so default for that one are quadratic dominated so quad structured okay so then assign mesh control has been assigned and now mesh part so that is a mesh part now from here you can see when it's being matched so the element size on uh, on the edges along the axis of symmetry so that is smaller and as you move away from the axis of symmetry so the element size is going to increase as you can see okay so now once it's done then the next one is to assign element type so select that one done and you have assigned element type in the family it is plain stress standard linear and then cp as for our a four node bilinear plain stress quadrilateral reduce integration or glass control so okay so done so now the meshing is done now the next part is create set and node type and these are to plot stress along the axis of symmetry so we need to create set along this axis along that edge and along this vertical axis okay so for that one here in the part module you have sets or you can go to the tool and then manager so that is set manager so create set one i am going to horizontal name is horizontal and mm -hmm. then make unsorted set continue along edge and then add before and then that is one i am looking for 
done and the node set from uh, let's say i'm going to plot that in the positive y direction okay so that one along horizontal axis sorry along, along horizontal axis in the direction of positive x that is being created okay and now you can see that horizontal then i'm going to create another one in the vertical direction node and then make on sorted set continue along edges and then here done and i need to flip its direction upwards yes okay so you can see that the other one is being created now i want to create for a circle so let's say for hole okay so node make unsorted set and then along edges here you are and its direction is like that way so okay so now you have these four sets so if you if you click on whole so you will set that uh, node set created there the other one there and then other one is there so these uh, these sets are created node set to plot stresses along these edges next step is to in assembly create instance and for that one in the assembly module or here is assembly so create instance so instance has been created and then you can see here in the assembly you'll have that instance there next step is to create step and the static journal i'm going to name it as static load and for that purpose in the assembly module here is the uh, step or next to assembly it is a step so i can double click that so step i am going to name it as static load and static journal continue okay and you can see that here a static load is being created next step is to create load and that is in type is pressure and that is minus 50 meg. so in the step uh, in the load module here you have create load or otherwise you can go here and create load so load is static load and then that is pressure continue it says select the surface for the load so i am going to select these two surfaces for the load done and by default the direction of pressure is towards the surface so it is going to be minus 50 and then you can see that it is minus 50. so now the other side here the same load can be applied on the other side you can apply the same load uh, but in tensile direction okay or otherwise otherwise uh, we can just fix it in the direction of load by applying a boundary condition so here initial displacement rotation and then those two edges done and then u1 okay so there are two options here once again you can apply load in both direction like here and on the other one so you will get the same results otherwise otherwise you can just fix that one because when the load is being applied in this direction and you are going to restrict that one so then the reaction will be exactly the same so now all that part is done like uh, in the modeling part is done next step is analysis job create job data check and then submit so here in the job or even in the job module here create job i am naming it as full plate okay so continue Okay, and then you can he see here first perform data check. Okay, so data check submitted, check completed. Now submit it for analysis. So it is being submitted, it will start running and then complete and come back. So now that job is being completed. Next step is the results. So for that results, open results, and here by clicking that 
results and then in the visualization like that is the here are one mice stresses so the maximum is 150 minimum is 15 and then all other types of uh, displacements these are strains these are reaction forces so just to create that here are the reaction forces okay and then in the stresses so one might say then maximum principal stresses then fresca stresses then there's a third variant variant and then s11 in horizontal direction s22 in vertical direction and s33 in uh, z direction because we are dealing with the plane stress so that's why uh, no stress here and that is a shear stress so all these stresses there after visualization of results in visualization create path and that type is node list so three path paths they are required here one along uh, for that one node sets are created so here you have path or otherwise you can go to the tool and then you have path here so double click on path and the first path i am going to name it as full plate fp full plate or full plate underscore now full plate underscore horizontal uri horizontal from the node list here uh, node set and here you have horizontal there okay so okay so then in the path the first path here you can see that path is being created and the that is the node number and there is a start of the path and that is end of the path so similarly another path need to create and that is full plate underscore hole okay and the node list continue then here add before and now hole i'm going to add here okay okay so now the hole is being created next one is uh, in the vertical direction continue add before and then that is a vertical one okay okay so now you can see that that is the for hole and that is a start point and that is the end and for that in vertical direction so that is start and that is end okay so these three paths are created okay so next step is create x y data and that is to plot one my stress along the axis of symmetry and for that one here create x y data and then along that path continue and first one full plate along the hole and here the field output you can select stress on my c stresses okay right and then that is being plotted okay so on vertical axis that is the two distance along the path okay along that hole and then that is stress so i'm going to save it as full plate underscore hole okay so the next one in the vertical direction the same one so that is vertical direction i'm going to save that as for sorry horizontal that is horizontal selected and then here is a vertical so for vertical direction plot save as and that is vertical okay so that data is being saved here uh, in x y data here you can see that full plate with the hole and that is the two distance along the axis and then here you have like the maximum stress is 150 and the minimum is 90 and that is going in that c like at the start that is 150 and towards that edge it is 90 and similarly in the horizontal direction in the horizontal direction it is like 
it is it's starting from 45 and then it's going to 15 and then again 45 so for that one that is the horizontal direction here you can see that uh, the stress is low as you are uh, uh, sorry yeah the dark color dark blue color is for low stress so that is stress high and it is going to decrease and then further increase and for the vertical plate you can see this is a vertical plate and then that at the start it is around uh, 30 and as it's going it keep on increasing and reaching the maximum value of 150 and for that one in the vertical direction you can see like is a minimum it is minimum 47 here and as the distance it is moving up towards the hole that is the maximum 150.312 so in that way you can blow out stresses so this is all for full plate so this is whole process for full plate. So now uh, one by C stresses are plotted along axis of symmetry and on edge of hole considering full plate. Now the next part is uh, all that analysis considering half plate and I'm going to use here left half plate. And for left half plate, the steps are all same steps okay so you need to create uh, one partition because it is already being created and then seed and everything remain the same node sets those three node sets need to create assembly the same step same load is the same and only the boundary conditions this time will be different so i'm going to model all that and then i'll just explain that what boundary condition need to use there so that is left half of the plate uh, created and then there is a one partition is being created there okay and then and then there the sets are created the mesh is the same as before like there is one for hole for horizontal and then vertical direction and step created is the same one which is uh, static journal the material here the material is uh, the same material now the load is only applied on this direction and the boundary conditions on that along the line of symmetry so they are i have used symmetry anti symmetry boundary conditions so here symmetric boundary conditions they are being used so symmetric boundary condition and then because this one it is perpendicular to x direction so then x symmetrical boundary conditions are used here so left half is being played completed then the results of that and here are the one my stresses of stresses are slightly different and then so three parts are created left half plate hole then for horizontal and that is okay so these three are being created now i am going to plot stresses along these parts so for that one here create xy data path and that is left plate hole okay field output here are the stresses mices okay the plot and i'm going to save it as hole so these plots for left half plate for hole like here left half plate hole left half plate in horizontal direction and then in vertical they are being blocked now the next one is for lower half plate and for lower half plate all steps are same the only difference is uh, like applying load and then boundary condition and those boundary condition will be symmetric for that so that is sketch for lower half plate 
so let's sketch and then a partition is being created there and then uh, mesh mesh is uh, like this is the mesh and then loads so load are here are the loads so by double clicking that so that is the load and then another load is being applied here but i am not going to use that one but it doesn't make any difference we are going to apply both loads and here i have applied uh, on that along the line of symmetry that is y y symmetrical and then i have created a boundary condition like q1 so you can simply suppress so that boundary condition and then resume that load and then run it so i have run it and then here is lower half plate results and these are the one my stresses results for that one so now i'm going to create path and then plot so now four paths have been created so that is for hole that is along horizontal direction and that is along vertical direction and for that one uh, create x y data and then here is lower half plate lower half plate hole so that is being plotted save as and that is hole so now these one lower half plate for hole horizontal and then that in the vertical so all these are being plotted now the next one analysis on quarter plate and for that quarter plate all steps they will be same and only that boundary conditions will be different so that is a section like uh, all of that and then that is a section that is mesh and three sets are created that hole horizontal and then that is a vertical okay material is the same same material then step is the same and then here boundary condition so boundary conditions so along that horizontal x uh, where is being line of symmetry so that are y symmetry and then here that is x symmetry and then a load is being applied here that load is being applied so only one load is being applied in that direction so then quarter plate is being submitted and here are the results so these are the one my stresses and for the results and then so three pa oh, pass has been created here you can see that is for hole that is for horizontal and that is for vertical and similarly here path and then you'll have here qp hole that is being selected field output is one my stresses okay so that is being plot and save as quarter plate hole so now here in xy data that is for quarter plate hole stress distribution and then that is along horizontal axis and that is along vertical axis so now uh, analysis for full plate and half plates and quarter plate is done and next is compare stress along axis of symmetry using full plate half plate and quarter plate and for that purpose going there so i have here is the full plate and that is one my stresses for that and the maximum and minimum values are there then left half plate so the stresses are slightly different the lower half plate the stresses are very much similar to the full plate and then for quarter plate so the stresses are somehow similar to that left half plate so now uh, for hole for full plate left half plate lower half plate and quarter plate so i can plot that and it can be seen from here 
like there is a slightly difference for lower half plate and then for full plate but overall the pattern is the same overall pattern is same and then for horizontal so that is being plotted so there are slight difference between the values okay but here when it comes to towards the edge of uh, towards the edge of the hole so there is not much difference and then full plate vertical so that are in the vertical direction only till that there is a slight difference so that is a comparison like as you can you can uh, for FEA along the axis of symmetry you can simply instead of using a full model you can use either half or you can use either quarter model for like along the lines of symmetry so because this one this plate has two lines of symmetry so then the best possible option is that quarter plate but the results are slightly different okay let's say now the full plate hole and then quarter plate hole if i am going to plot that so the results are slightly different okay so results are slightly different like as for full plate hole let's say that is 148 sorry full plate so the maximum stress is 150 and the minimum is 15 and for quarter plate the maximum is 148 and 15 so then yes there is a slightly uh, difference of like the variation between full plate and quarter plate uh, the error is around uh, around like uh, less than 2% but like the computation time it can reduce that one so i hope that you like this video and thank you very much for watching you can leave comments for feedback